hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to copy website on wix let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time on wix i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to copy a Wix website, you have several options depending on what exactly you are trying to do. Now, one of the best methods for you to copy is duplicating a Wix site within Wix. All right, for us to be able to do that, I want you to click on the option on the upper left corner that says go to dashboard. Now, once you are here, you might want to click on the sites option on the left side panel of your dashboard and choose a the site you want to copy for example this one right here all you have to do is click on the site actions and click on duplicate all right now here i'm gonna put in something like this so it's not happening let me just do that again duplicate site Now, just wait for it to load. So you have successfully copied your Wix website. Okay, so once you have copied the uh, Wix site, you might want to click on the edit site here. And then, of course, you can export content here with a different um, elements. Once you are redirected to the Wix editor. Okay, so you have a lot of um, options for you to do and you have a room to do with that. For example, like here, you can add more elements. You can put in, um, like say, for example, images, upload images, import images, or you have the option for the image creator. You can explore free images from Wix, free Wix illustrations, and a lot more. In terms of the button, you can do that as well can put in contacts and forms, videos and music, and a lot more. You can also put in the embed cone. Now, the idea is when you are planning or redesigning or rebranding, copying your existing site allows you to experiment with new designs or branding elements while keeping the original site intact. You can test new layouts, colors, and typography without impacting the live version. You can also check the, uh, say, for example, you don't want all some of the elements on your previous site that you have copied. You can do that as well. If you want to experiment with new features, plugins, or elements, having a duplicate of your site can be useful. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.